Well, flying kites is a century-old craze for people, but their passion has resulted in panic for birds and bird lovers as it is allegedly causing fatality of birds. Hence, the Pollution Control Board has decided to take some remedial measures. You must have heard about China Mandra, especially if you're a kite lover. Well, it's a stronger variety of thread used to fly kites. This thread is stronger and sharper compared to the others, which helps the kite flyer to have an upper hand in kite flying competitions. China Mandra easily cuts the thread of the other kite and gets it detached from the hands of the flyer. The detached kite with a little thread left attached to it would fly away and get stuck in trees, towers and electric poles. This thread is posing threats to birds flying around the city. It is alleged that the birds are getting entangled in the thread. They try hard to free themselves, but most of the times their efforts go futile, resulting in untimely death. The environmentalists and bird lovers who observed this wanted the concerned authorities to take remedial measures. The Pollution Control Board in particular has decided to act by banning China manja threads. Specially coated uh, yarn, which is uh, uh, called China manja, manja, and it is coated with glass and with some gun, gums. When, the, when there is another kite, it can cut that uh, thread. But because it is sharp, it also cuts, hurts the kite flyers, it hurts fingers, but uh, in, in such a high length, it also cuts uh, uh, birds' legs, feathers, it even injures if it goes and catches that. Apart from the birds, China Manja is reported to have injured kids while flying kites. While pulling a flying kite, the thread can harm even the fingers of the kite flyer. An extreme incident was reported in Gujarat where this thread had killed a person. By the way, this manja is not being produced in Karnataka, but is being ferried from Maharashtra and Gujarat. Since the month of flying kites, Ashara is around the corner, environmentalists are expecting a quick action on banning the thread. The population of birds is already falling drastically, thanks to the felling of trees and the presence of mobile towers. So environmentalists are now panicking that this manja too is adding to the damage. But what remains to be seen is whether banning manja will ever happen. Maltesh for News 9, Bengaluru. Some of the greatest discoveries happen young. And backing that philosophy are the students of MS Ramaya Engineering College who organized a fest to display their hard work over four years. The final year electronics and communication batch came up with some interesting projects that could be a breakthrough in the field of science and technology. Take a look. Some of the greatest discoveries happen at a young age. And backing that philosophy are students of MS Ramaya Engineering College, final year students of Electronical and Communications Department who have organized a fest that compiles all their hard work over four years. We've come here to check up on five of their most amazing projects that could be path-breaking in the field of science and technology. One of the projects that could be quite a boon to the government is this uh, Million Dollar Arm. Well, I don't refer to the movie The Million Dollar Arm, but uh, uh, AKA this uh, robotic uh, arm created by Zakaria from Yemen. Uh, we're starting from him, starting with him because he single-handedly has created this uh, project here. So, Zakaria, tell us what your Million Dollar Arm is all about. I've coined the name for you. Thanks to Thank me. Thank you for uh, giving me this such great name. Okay. Uh, actually, this is a robotic arm. It's controlled uh, through the. Uh, human uh, interference okay. through uh, gesture recognition. Okay. Uh, the hand can control the uh, arm with uh, different kind of uh, uh, movements, okay. fingers, wrist, okay. arms, mm -hmm. and other parts. Mm -hmm. And the robot can uh, move in the field easily uh, with the controllers uh, which is built in it. Right. Actually, the main application of the uh, uh, robot is to go to the field which is uh, critical or dangerous for the human being. Example, if there is uh, a poison gas or radiation. Uh, in such cases, you can uh, send the robot to that and uh, keep the human life safe. Is there anything like this in the market? Actually, uh, the idea of moving the hand is there, but they use different uh, designs and different technologies.
that quite intrigued us is a clinometer, robotic clinometer used to measure height and distance. Uh, quite a unique one, especially since very pretty four girls a team have uh, uh, sort of created this. I'll start with you. What is this all about? Okay, so basically we'll start with what is a clinometer. So clinometer is basically a device that is used to measure the heights and distances to any object with pointing with it a laser that's all so everything is converted from manual to automatic so the working will be explained by pragna and okay. yeah. how does it really work basically now you measure the angle of a particular object or a building move a predetermined distance again measure the uh, height of that particular object and now you have tan theta is equal to height by distance so basically you're using very basic trigonometric functions and you're finding the height and distance so that's wow. For all that you explained, what I understood is it measures height and distance. Uh, what's the scope like? What, what are the real advantages of this machine? See, basically this can be used by civil engineers because they really have to measure heights of buildings, structures, all of those. It can be used by uh, sailors also. It can be used by people who are, like in, it can be implied in mining activities as well. And in forestry to assess the height of trees and everything. All right. So, yeah. so it is quite a multi-purpose tool. Uh, finally, what's the scope of this? Where, where do you see this in the future? Is there anything like this made before? Well, not really, and this is a prototype, and we can further implement it to, you know, like, you can develop an app on it, or you can uh, probably uh, make it work with a remote control, and, you know, increase the resolution. So that's a uh, few of the future scopes that we have right now. All right, great. That looks quite interesting to me. I'm sold. Let's hope, uh, you know, you get proper funding and pursue this project as well. Thank you so much. All the very best. But let's go see the other one, what we have in store. Boom, boom, Roboda, Roboda, Roboda. Zoom, zoom, Roboda, Roboda, Roboda. One more humble project that caught our attention is called the Mute Speaks that is done for a social cause and also aids people with hearing and speaking disabilities. Uh, can you t tell us about your project? Quite a noble initiative. Yeah, it's called the Mute Speaks. It's basically gesture to text conversion. We are making this project basically for the mute people. So what we are doing is we are converting their sign language into the text so that even the normal person or a layman can understand their languages. Uh, we've used this flex sensor. Uh, this flex sensor, uh, what, uh, what it does is uh, it changes its resistance based on the sign. So uh, when you bend the uh, uh, fingers, the uh, resistance will change, and when you straight, straighten it, the, it'll again increase. So uh, we'll take we'll take those signals, we'll convert them to the voltage, uh, and this voltage uh, is uh, with this voltage is uh, compared with the lookup table with what we have used, and it is then displayed on the LCD. Roboda, Roboda, Roboda. Zoom, zoom, Roboda, Roboda, Roboda. There you go, you saw some great uh, innovations, inventions coming up by uh, students of MSRIT Engineering College, Electronical and Communications Department final year. We're only waiting to see if one of the projects takes flight, then it is going to make Bengaluru and India proud. With camera person Lakshman, this is Nabila for News 9 Bengaluru.